Dear Leonora, la grande pianista. <laughs> so nice to, to meet you, to have you here uh, directly, actually, after the Chopin competition. Yeah. And uh, I think last time we met, it was at the Hochschule für Musik und Theater in Hamburg. Yes. And, and it was, I remember, I was a beginning professor and you, you were taking an exam. Yeah. Uh, and I, you played the uh, three voice inventions by Bach. I did. I you studied started. with Professor Ilya Zilberstein. Yeah. And tell me, what has changed in your life since then? Wow. It was uh, well, which year? It was 2012? Or 10, I 10. think. 2010. Okay. Yeah. And it was actually the time where I was taking part to the to my first Chopin piano yes, competition. Yes, exactly. Um, where should I start? <laughs> <laughs> so many things changed. So it's 11 years, right? Yeah, 11. it's probably 11. I don't remember if it was 2009 or 2010, probably 10. Um, I remember it was after the competition. Yes, yes. yeah, probably. So, yeah, so many things have changed. Firstly, I, I've grown up a little bit, 11 <laughs> years <laughs> older. Um, you know, so many things happened, um, especially after the, the first time I took part to the Chopin competition. Um, I, I had the chance to have so many experiences and I think they helped me grow up a lot, like as a person firstly. So yeah, I'm a little bit more <laughs> old, <laughs> like personally speaking, <laughs> but not in a ne negative way. Yes. I think like experience is a huge part of, of a person. So you think your playing also interpretation changed? Probably, yeah. I, I think I am. I don't know. I, I think I think about many things more. Probably um, when I was younger, I, I think I had this really strong instinct that was, you know, a little bit put in shape. Mm -hmm. um, and I think now I'm. I work a lot on, you know, shaping this this instinct. And, I don't know. Um, I feel different, and I think I play different, but I, I cannot tell how I play differently. I let people yes. okay. tell. <laughs> so this is this is interesting because today you play Polonaise Fantastic. Yeah, it's a great piece. Yes. What do you think about this piece? Uh, what is your personal approach to this music? I think it's a journey, like the journey of a of a hero. I think. Um, like everything goes towards this epic ending and uh, playing that piece is really like taking part to a journey and that's something I, I think uh, I think about a lot when I practice it um, because it looks like uh, sometimes it can it can sound a little bit disconnected from part to part because it's a Polonaise but it's also a fantasy uh, I think the biggest challenge of that piece is to make it sound like one person's journey, mm. so one cohesive thing, right? And yeah, it's it's really exciting to play, and but also quite challenging, you know, to keep it together. Yes. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, one person, but so many different moods and uh, yeah. different actually and personalities even, in one. Yeah, and also like yeah. locations. Sometimes I feel like I'm I'm going through. Um, a journey like there's one location uh, some things happening then another location is something else you know but still the same person that's learning toward the process I think please stay like you are oh thank you <laughs> thank you very much thank you